As you take a look at the tail of the tape, Rivas is taller, the weight's about the same. He's 11 years older than uh, Lopez, and he has an inch and a half longer reach. He's coming off a draw, and Lopez is coming off a win. Rivas is uh, from Good Louisiana evening, by way of Guatemala. We went over the rules earlier in the dressing room. I expect a nice, clean fight. Touch gloves. Good luck to the both of you. Touch. In the white and light blue trunks is Ronald Rivas. In the dark blue with the gold trim, a little bit of silver on his trunks as well, is Teofimo Lopez the third. Let's go, second. Help him out. All right, we're set to go here. This is scheduled for six rounds. Teofimo Lopez is the top-ranked fighter with a. 150 amateur victories and he's full of energy. He's from here in Brooklyn even though he lives in Davie, Florida now. So he has a lot of supporters out here. And he's just bursting with energy. Rivas a five and five fighter with a couple of draws and three knockouts so he can bang a little bit. Rivas has got that tattoo on his shoulder unloads the right hand. See Lopez gets him off balance digs to the body downstairs but it's in a clean area. Oh, hard punching is Lopez. Won several amateur titles over the years, and his Rivas trying to put the pressure on him. Rivas is one of those tough kids from Louisiana by, by Guatemala. This is round one. It's scheduled for six. Lopez has a ton of power, too. And his four victories, he's got four knockouts. So Rivas has got to be careful that right hand uh, power shot. Even though Rivas has more professional fights, he's in his 13th professional fight. Gifimo Lopez, with a huge background in the amateurs, is a much more experienced fighter, and it shows. He also has more power. Lopez gobbles up everything he has coming forward, just shakes his head no. Carrying that left hand a little bit low, he's open to the right hand, but he's very quick with his left hand, so he gets it back up before Rivas can move in and take advantage of it. Stiff jab, and comes that time, he turns it over with the thumb to the outside, and nails him with an uppercut inside. Boy, he steps up into his jab. This is a very good technical fighter is Teofimo Lopez. Teofimo Lopez the third. Topping right hand gets his Rivas. Rivas might have been hurt by that right hand. He's a little bit uh, loose in the knees and heavy in the heels right now. 23 seconds to go here. His balance is not great. Oh, that body shot again by uh, Lopez. Lopez taps him a couple of times with the right hand and then comes with the left uppercut. This guy's slick. Satya Fimo win his last fight in Las Vegas. And he's a terrific fighter. Actually, I saw him the last time in Las Vegas, but he won his last fight in Kissimmee, Florida. Look at this. Boy, he's a solid, hard punch. Nice uppercut. Yeah, he's punishing this guy in the first round and the bell ends. That's a real solid round for Lopez. You know, that's the type of round the way Lopez totally dominated without a knockdown that you could score 10-8, but the judges won't do it, so I won't do it. But they're always talking at the conventions of the WBC and WBO and so forth that you know we should use the 10 point must to separate it but the judges just don't do it they score the rounds 10 9 unless there's a knockdown you know what they're talking about when you watch Teofimo Lopez non-stop action Come on, let's go. Lopez has got that solid jab. He cracks him with the right hand right away to get this uh, round started. Rivas may not have it, had enough time to 
recuperate from the pounding he took in the first round. And Lopez is keeping the pace up here in the early going. Pulls him in on the ropes, looks around. Lopez it looks like a guy that really enjoys himself in the ring, and I suppose if you're pacing a guy like he is in the first round, it, it's real fun being in the uh, the ring. Puffiness around the right eye and below the right eye of Rivas. Rivas was not down in the first round, but he was shaky a couple of times in the legs, and his balance was not solid towards the last minute of the uh, round. Uh, you see Arthur McCann, he said, keep those uh, hands closed up into a fist. And he was telling that to Rivas. Is it, uh, enough isn't going wrong for Rivas right now, the way uh, Kipimo Lopez is beating him up. I don't know if Rivas can last a full six rounds with this guy. Every single shot, Lopez sits down on the punch. Jam. He's looking to load up the right hand and slings the right hand of the body below the heart. Big welt by the right eye of uh, Rivas. Lopez looks like a guy that's uh, really enjoying himself and Rivas now has a look of despair on his face. He's taking a lot of heavy punches. Almost everything that Lopez throws other than the jab is a hard, hard punch. And even if he misses it, it's hard. A lot of credit to Rivas to be taking a pounding like this through uh, five minutes of boxing and, and just nothing really going his way. He reaches out. Again, Rivas is taller and he has a reach advantage, but he can't uh, capitalize on it because Lopez smothers him on the inside. Oh, big left hand. I don't think he'll get up from that. That was a huge left hand. This fight's all over. Lopez has knocked him out in the second round with a huge left hook. That was as solid a left hook as you can hit a guy with. The big flip. Now, before we do anything else, we're waiting. Make sure that uh, Ronald Rivas is okay because you won't see a better left hook than that. That was some left hook. And I can tell you right now, the matchmakers, Bruce Trampler and Brad Goodman, are salivating watching uh, Teofimo Lopez score that left hook. All energy from the time he came in, and he hasn't lost any of it. Still want to make uh, sure that Rivas is OK. I've got him up to the stool. And that's a good sign. But he was cracked with a left hook. Man. We'll show it to you, of course, again. But he really nailed it. Look at the wealth. The left hook must have caught him right on the eye. But man, did he whack him. The Efimo Lopez continues. Get an awful left hook like that. All right, we'll take a look at the knockout. Watch the left hand. Watch it. Watch it. Right there. He didn't see it at all. And the one that you don't see is the one that'll hurt you. And Arthur McCandy took a look in his eyes and immediately waved it off. What dip and boom right there. Everything. He's out cold. Tries to kind of bring his head up off the canvas. Watch, 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 watch. And boom, he blindsided him. He had his entire side luck. And the celebration of Fimo Lopez, watch this. You think he might be happy? Yeah, I think so. That also shows you how athletic he is. Fimo Lopez knocks out Ronald Rivas in the second round. We still have to get the official particulars, so let's go up to our ring announcer. Lupe Contreras is standing by. Is Lupe? 
Ladies and gentlemen, this bout comes to a sudden and dramatic end with an official time. Two minutes, 21 seconds of round number two. Your winner, by way of KOL Brooklyn, Teofimo.